Howdy all, welcome back to lives. I think it's time we play a little... Seven Days to Die. Alright. Man, I hate it when the town is like half in okay territory and half in one of these smoky or foggy or rubble territories. I hate it. Oh man, how many churches do you need in a row? So, I am uh, just taking a little quick look through here for uh, any kind of stores or stuff. And then I probably, probably need to head back to my base uh, since I'm pretty full up on supplies and whatnot. Ooh, these are some big buildings. building back there was huge glass windows. Can you imagine? Ugh. I'm I'm not a heights person. Imagine the poor guy's got to clean the outside of that building. Although, I would assume that if you were a window cleaner, it would just be your normal day-to-day -day job and it wouldn't bother you at all, but ugh, I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Uh, today's actually going to wind up being a pretty heavy uh, seven days to die day for me. Um, we uh, we've been playing it in our the group I play with on Monday nights, and uh, so uh, I'll be back to sticks and stones again tell you what I do not like the uh, I do not like the shift between being on here with my good gear uh, where where is home home is way up there alright what's the best route home there is no best route home So apparently need to take a right. Uh, straight might do it too. Let's let's go straight here. I know, I know you're starving. I've got no food. I've got no no any kind of I've got some raw meat. You want to eat some raw meat? Um Okay, we'll we'll stop to look for some food, but we'll uh, we'll do it uh, at the next. Well, if I see a nice little house, maybe. I don't think we're gonna find a lot of food in a factory. Yeah, right up here is a house. We can stop at this house right up here. See if we can scrounge up some food. Yeah, we uh <laughs> we play uh every week now. Uh, they've decided for uh 7 days to die. Uh but they only put the server up on the nights we play. Guy runs it off his home server and uh So uh Kill some boars, huh? It's not food. It's not food. Oh. Come on. Get me killed. Uh, very, very gonna get me killed here. Any food? Ooh, you do have a steel shovel. I have a steel shovel, though. Tin can is not gonna cut it. Q 
can of tuna. There you go. There's a tiny, tiny smidgen of food for you. Can of pasta. That should help a little bit, maybe. Some more water. iron. Okay. Well, it's a little bit of helpful. I don't know where the last place I, I dropped a bedroll either, so I gotta be careful not to not to die. <laughs> I was pretty close back there. Uh, yeah, we uh, <laughs> we've been uh, like I said, we've been playing uh, every week. Uh, even though we do D and D one week on our normal game night, they have started playing on Tuesday nights as well. On weeks we play D and D, so uh, I don't know. Anyways, anyways, uh, I did watch a really good zombie movie this weekend uh, on Netflix called Cargo. That was really good. Uh, it stars uh, uh, Martin Freeman. He uh, he was in um, Black Panther. Uh, he's the uh, the CIA agent in that one, I think. Um, they uh, but it's an uh, Australian film, and so he. Him and his family are living on a boat, and uh, uh, they're running out of supplies, and so he uh, goes over to uh, a boat they see as they're traveling to town to get supplies. They're going to risk going towards civilization, and um, so they see a wrecked boat, and he swims over and gets some supplies and comes back. And, uh, his wife, she didn't like the supplies he brought back. Uh, and so she went to get supplies as well from the boat and managed to, uh, get bit. And so, uh, their, uh, their zombie stuff in cargo are, uh, you got 48 hours before you turn. And, uh, and so he's trying to get his wife to, uh, the hospital, and, uh, they wreck their car, and she turns into a zombie and bites him, and so now he's got 48 hours to get his baby <laughs> someplace safe, and that's, that's pretty much how the movie starts, and so the rest of it is him trying to, uh, not only uh, get I think we're gonna just cut straight across through here to this next city and just take the North Fork there I'm not playing with you dog uh, but it was really good I really enjoyed it and uh, uh, all of their zombies were weird uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly what was supposed to be coming out of them, but they leaked gross brown stuff. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you uh, if you like zombie movies, definitely check out Cargo. I thought it was really good. Uh, I uh, I like uh, uh, I like a good you know gory shooting zombies and running from zombies and people being torn apart by zombies movie, but I also really enjoy a, a more I don't know, I want to say sedate, but a more uh, thinking version of a zombie movie, I guess. Uh, kind of like a Maggie I think that was the name of the one with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, uh, 
which was also really good. Uh, you know, I watched another one, uh, a series they had on there was, uh, must be Swedish, called The Rain. Uh, that one doesn't have zombies, uh, and I don't understand quite what's going on, but uh, uh, I finished the first season of that, that is out, and uh, that was pretty good, too. Um... Uh, that one was, uh, I, I guess the part I don't understand is how it happened. Uh, and so they've got, uh, they got this scientist and his kid has got something wrong with him. I don't remember what they said. And, uh, I guess the, I guess this will be some, some real spoilers for the rain, uh, but uh, he injects the kid with uh, an untested cure, and it fixes the kid. Somehow, that gets in the rain. And that's the part I don't understand. Like, I I'm not sure, like, am I supposed to suspend my understanding of how rain works? Or are they purposely seeding the rain with this virus I don't I don't understand how I don't understand how the virus gets in the rain constantly <laughs> I don't understand that part like I will grant you a rainstorm of virus sure uh, laboratory explodes cats you know virus into the clouds you got one good rainstorm of a virus until it all goes away but how is the virus getting back into the clouds so that every time it rains people are dying from this virus uh like like they can't t trust the water they can't drink the water they can't step in the water um but i think there's too much water present in the present in the environment all on its own I don't understand why how you just don't constantly get infected because because the air itself collects the moisture right and then my understanding of how rain works is that the moisture in the air collects around dust particles in the sky <laughs> creating water droplets which then form together do the temperature differences and all kinds of stuff like that to make clouds, right? Isn't that how clouds are formed? So how does the virus get in that to come back down but isn't just prevalent in the air? Oh no, I ran out of gas. But, um... Yeah, so it's, uh... Other than that one part, uh... The, uh, scientist, he, uh, he, uh, knows it's about to happen, Oop. grabs his kids, runs off with him and his wife and his kids, um, and, uh, Come on, I hit you. You just gonna keep running, or are you bleeding out here? Or you just vanish? Oh. Alright. I can't run, apparently. This is my run speed. Yep, we just want the meat. I don't need anything else, just the meat. Uh, but so uh, when it's when it starts, they all go to this bunker that his company has set up, and uh, and then uh, from the once they're at the bunker, he I think he gets a phone call. 
And, uh, all right, I'm going to keep going north, I guess. It looks like there's just a path through here. Man, I went a long way for my for my bike to get that deer. And um, so uh, he puts on his gear and he leaves. And then um, you know his hazmat gear. And then uh, the girl uh, they got two children, a girl and a boy. Um, she throws a fit and uh oh oh um someone started knocking on their door and uh uh but he he had already been hit by the rain and so he was dying from the virus cuz it kills you in minutes and uh so uh uh the girl was like, it's dad, he's come back. And the mother is like, why would he knock? <laughs> he knows the code. It's not him. And the girl runs off and opens the door. And the mother has to tackle the guy to keep him out of the place with the virus. Uh, you know, the that doesn't make any sense. But anyways, so the mother, the mother, she dies uh, to the virus. And so it's just the teen daughter and the... Mm, he must have been about eight when it all went down. And so now it's like eight years later or something. And, uh, maybe it was older than that, I don't know. I don't remember what their ages were. But, uh, then it skips forward in time to, uh, like eight years later. And, um, they've been in the bunker the entire time. And so, uh, this, uh, group led by a ex-soldier shows up. <laughs> and, um... They were leaving the bunker because there was no more food. And, uh, they got captured by this group. And then they kind of became part of the group, and then they were trying to, uh, she was leading them from bunker to bunker to get supplies. And, uh, they w discovered that they're in the quarantine zone. And that there's possibly a wall around the whole thing. I never saw a wall, per se. Is that a black wolf? Is that a black wolf or just a glitch? Oh man, I'm, I'm dead. I can't tell. I think that's a black wolf, and it was super powerful. And now I'm a million miles away from my stuff. I shot that guy three times. He did not care. I missed my sniper rifle. Huh. I've never seen one of those before. I don't know if that was a glitch. Or an actual wolf. Like black wolf. Well, at least I'm not starving anymore, right? I'm sure I'm a million miles away from my stuff, though. And it's getting nighttime, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Come on, you need grass to make a thing, so get closer I can I lost count how much did I pick up now 20 that is enough uh, but what they discover is the the kid is a carrier and he's immune and apparently 
that must mean the daughter is also immune. Um, and that her father is still alive and busy capturing people in the quarantine zone who are still alive and injecting them with the virus looking for the cure. Uh, and then there's also some shadowy group that apparently is responsible. This is why I think they're seeding the clouds. Uh, is responsible for the virus and how they're using it to take over the world. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it, was, it wasn't bad. Uh, I mean, some of it's a little weird, like I said. Uh, I don't understand how the virus keeps getting in the clouds. Um... And if they're using the virus to take over the world, then wouldn't they be outside the quarantine with it? I don't understand why there's... Like, those guys are clearly in a bunker. Uh, and so, if they're seeding the clouds so that it rains in the quarantine zone, um, which probably sounds more difficult than it would be, because you could just wait for the right cloud formations and blowing in the right direction and fly up and spray it, I guess. Hey, do blueberries happen to uh, give you any kind of stamina boost? No. They just taste good. Ish. Blueberry's not my favorite. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, ooh, I also watched the second season of 13 Reasons Why. Uh, and when I first started watching it, I was like, yep, I wish I had 13 reasons why they made a second season. It got a lot better, though, um, after you get past, like, the first four episodes. Uh, although I do feel like, like, uh, if you ever seen the first 13 reasons why, it, uh, it's about this girl who kills herself and leaves cassette tapes with the 13 reasons why and uh, and so the second season uh, the second season I had no idea what they were going to do because uh, the first season basically ends with uh, the main character getting a confession from uh, this guy uh, and his involvement in it and then giving the tapes to uh, an adult because they're all high schoolers, and uh, uh, well, I mean, in the story they're high schoolers. In real life, most of them are in their twenties. <laughs> but uh, they. Uh, yeah, I did not care for how it started. They uh, they did this thing where they're like having a trial, and um, the kids who were brought up on the stand would tell different versions of what had happened than what they did in the first season. I may have already talked about this. I don't remember, um, but. It uh, it didn't match up with what happened in the first season, and and it wasn't just like a a, a point of view thing, like uh, like for example, uh, uh, there's a dude in the first season named Zach, I think, and. Uh, him and the main character, I don't remember what her name is, uh, terrible with names, and, uh, I don't remember what the main character's name, the, the guy's name is, I don't remember what the girl that killed herself's name is, uh, Hannah, I remember, I remember it's Hannah, I still don't remember what his name is, though, I think it starts with Cl, Cl, Cal, Cliff, Clint, hmm, it's a short C name, and I don't remember, uh, K, 
cam. No. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, you think I just watched it? You, you, I just watched 26 episodes of that between last week and uh, middle of last week and uh, Sunday. You think I could remember his name? But no, it's not. It's not gonna happen. Uh, and uh, so, anyways. Um, Uh, so Zach in the first season, um, tries to be friendly with the, with Hannah and tries to ask her out and I only vaguely remember what went down at this point, but either way she publicly humiliated him and so to get back at her, the, the, uh, class was running a thing where they dropped nice notes for each other in these sacks. And he... Man, I was almost home when I died. Whew. This is... I'm going to have to stop and look for some supplies. I don't really want to fight any zombies, though. And it's getting... Oh! Great. I just broke my leg. Let's just go ahead and make the... Oh. You know what? It didn't slow me down. Um. So, uh... He decided to pull the notes out for her. And so... She figured out that it was him, and so she taped the note in the bag for him, and then when he read the note, walked away, and he wadded up some paper and threw it on the floor, but it wasn't the note. And so when she told her version of it, he had wadded up her note and threw it on the ground. Uh, and that was one of her reasons... Um, but he didn't. So then when we get to season two, he gets up on the stand and tells that they dated for the entire summer. I'm like, at no point in season one were they even on friendly terms. <laughs> so that's just bizarre to me that they would change something like that. And so... There were a few stories they told in the first few episodes that were just like way different. And not even like not even like her version, their version, but like completely different versions of things that had happened. Um and uh So, uh but once you get past those first 3 or 4 episodes where they're doing that stuff, it gets pretty good, and uh, uh, I did enjoy the rest of it. Not as much as Cargo. Cargo was way better than 13 Reasons for me. Uh, and, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, the other thing I had issue with, or issue with, haha, is that everybody on the show now has an issue. And, like, every character has something wrong with them that they can have episodes about and discuss. Uh, and so it's like they just try to turn it from having a show about one thing or maybe, you know, a couple of things into a uh, giant uh, after-school special kind of thing because, uh, I mean, like, they went from, you know, their two big issues in season one to... Everybody's got something mentally wrong with them. They need all these psychiatrists. They all need, uh, you know, medication for various things. Uh, and it was just, it was bizarre. Like, every character wound up with some kind of major issue. Maybe it's like that. I don't know. Uh, it wasn't like that. It's still not like that for me. So, I don't know. 
is bizarre. Which is bizarre that every single person, like Clay, that's his name, Clay. Every person Clay knows has something wrong with them. Every single one of them. Uh, <laughs> and I just, I found that kind of too much. There was just too much. Uh, and I, I feel maybe the, the show over-exaggerated some things, too. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I, I enjoyed season one better than season two for sure. Uh, but I really liked Cargo. That was excellent. Uh, oh, it's, I did not expect it to take me this long to swim across this lake. I forgot how slow you move while swimming. Bloop, bloop. I like that you just... keeps the berries in his hand. These are my berries. <laughs> they should implement some actual swimming in this game. This, uh, water hopping is not helping me get to my stuff. Ah. <sighs> Uh, ooh, uh, I know, another thing I want to... I played... F far Lone Sail uh, yesterday and today. And, uh, short game. It's a short game. It did not take more than a couple hours to get through. Four hours, maybe something like that. <clears throat> I kind of want to play a game in a similar vein. Um, I, uh, I like something along the lines of, of, of that game. I'd like, I would really like a game where you have a spacecraft, and there are games like this, but I haven't found one that I actually enjoy. Uh, I like a game where you have, like, a spacecraft or something, and you're traveling, uh, and you have to get to your destination, and along the way you uh, have to learn to upgrade, and, uh, you know, upgrade your vehicle and collect supplies and stuff. This was kind of like that, and I'd like something in the same vein as that. Um, I don't understand the point of it. I, uh, I played it, and... I'm really confused by the ending. I I I get that it's supposed to be kind of a minimalist story kind of thing, but you could have at least given me a hint what I was doing. Um, the uh, the vehicle in it was pretty cool. Uh, it's weird that there are upgrade places for it along the path. Um, I mean, it's a game, right? It's a game, but uh, I don't know. It, uh, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I just wish there'd been a little more to it. Um, I played, um, uh, I pl my problem with the, you have no supplies and you need to upgrade your vehicle to move along. There was this great game, okay? Th th this is my problem. There's this amazing game when I first got into computers called Nomad. Uh, I want a new Nomad, because that game was amazing, and there's been nothing like it. I would like an updated Alien Legacy as well. Those are two of my favorite billion-year-ago gaming experience. I don't even know where my, my discs for them are anymore, uh, otherwise I would just play them. Um, uh... Because they're, like, from the 90s. Uh, and, uh... Uh... Uh, Nomad was this great game where you, um... Humans discover a crashed alien spacecraft in the Arctic. 
and uh, you are on board when it gets activated and it flies you into space and there is an alien ship orbiting Earth uh, that is undetectable to human technology. Uh, but you're not in human technology and so uh, you are able to... Um, I really need to drop this down onto my hotbar. You are able to uh, communicate with them. It has a universal translator. And so you meet your first alien. And it turns out that Earth is in part of this... Um... Ooh, I don't know if cutting through snow biome is... Is there like a big fire going on over there? Do you see that? I don't understand what I'm seeing over here. I mean, there aren't fires like that in this game, so why am I seeing what is clearly a fire? It looks like there's a house on fire over the hill there. I am so far from my stuff still. Yep, I am going this way, because I don't want to go through this water. And um, and so it turns out that there's this um, uh, AI that is trying to... Uh, it must be the sun. I must be seeing the sun through the clouds and trees. Uh, anyways, this is AI trying to take over, and you wind up being uh, trapped in the middle of it. But you've got to you got to like buy upgrades for your ship from these aliens, and you can get like uh, robots that go down. And uh, um, there's like three kinds of robots. There's mining robots to get ores and stuff like that, um, chemicals. And then there's the agricultural robot that goes down and farms on planets you find. Um, and then there's the archaeology robot that goes down and brings back artifacts. And so um, some of them are useless, and you sell them to collectors, and some of them are, are um, clues to what's going on. And there's like this shield around the, the main planet that the master controller is trying to get through. And, um, and it's, it's got a fun story and, and uh, you know, ship combat and all this stuff. And... Uh, I just, I've always loved that game, and I wish they would have made a new version of it, or a sequel to it, or something. Um, and then the other game, I know this is getting long, but the other game I really loved from back in those days, I do play occasionally, because that one I, I have a disc for somewhere, um, that I dug out not too long ago, actually. That's eh, probably been a couple of years, but, uh, Alien Legacy is another great game, uh, from the 90s, where you, uh, you go along and um, you're a colony ship and there's supposed to be a colony already there because they had a faster uh, <clears throat> faster drive than you have and so when you arrive it's already supposed to be up and going and when you get there there's no one there and then you start discovering ruins and so you have an entire solar system of planets um, and asteroid belts and stuff to work with and uh, and it's got a great storyline, and uh, it's it's a little bit city building, a little bit combat. Um, you know, there's research, there's resource management. Um, uh, this great, great storyline, and uh, I just, I know, I kind of wish there were games like that still, and uh, uh, and nothing really seems to fit like that anymore. Frostpunk! Frostpunk is really good. I just finished Frostpunk's first scenario um, and I've given the second scenario a try a couple of times but I keep failing because I can't seem to get enough uh, supplies together to rescue the second city. Um, but it would have been kind of like Frostpunk only with the ability to travel between planets and have multiple bases you have to deal with, not just a single base. Because um, there are like aliens always attacking and you keep finding weird stuff and you gotta explore all the planets and yeah. Anyways, with that I'm gonna call it, so click like if you like, 
Subscribe, be sure, and catch the next one. Hi, right, we'll talk to you later.